going to be doing something very special, never really done before. Today, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be talking to one of our users of our app, Snapchat. And if I didn't introduce myself, I'm LaRon Brooks, and we're going to be talking to June Brooks today. I know, right? We have the same last name. But yeah, so we're going to be talking to him because, you know, he uses our... um our app and he's been using it you know for for a while now you know for his last couple of years or whatever so and you know like here at snap you know like we like the memories we save those and i know it's weird like oh snapchat saves our memories it's just weird it's like no unless there's something like like something that involves like something that we need to notify the the police about you know something that we need to notify them about you, and then usually we have um, our machines here at um, Snapchat, you know, they have a certain algorithm that they use, you know, to detect certain stuff. So, you know, they can scan through, like, um, just scan scan through certain stuff, uh, li listens for certain sounds, certain, like, keyword, like, certain key phrases and words that, um, that, might, that we might need to involve the police with, you know, like, somebody has something, you know, where they're um, just, did, you know, whatever. But, yeah, so today we're going to be talking to him. And you know we're we're gonna just bring him up a few snaps because like his snaps are I say this guy has some very interesting snaps and we just want to kind of like get a kind of like background of like you know what what kind of led to those and like where where does he get like like you know his his little whatever you know but yeah so we're gonna have him in here a little bit and yeah stay tuned. Hey June, how's it going? I'm good. How are you? How are you? How's it going, everybody? How's it going? How's it going? I'm pretty good, you know, I'm just feeling good in the place to be, you know. I thank you for having me here, like, man, just thank you. Just Snapchat, man, I've been just using the app for however long, and it finally feels like, wow, like, I'm really sitting down with the, with the people, you know. I've been helping out. <laughs> no, I'm like, it's all good. Um, so, so why don't you just kind of tell our, our audience, you know, like, a little bit about yourself, you know, like, what what they should know, like who you are, you know, like, and the, the kind of person that, the kind of person that we have with us today. Like. I'm, I'm June Brooks, you know, I'm from um, Kansas City, Missouri. I grew up there for about 15 years, lived there. 15 years up until my, like, the end of my freshman year of high school, you know, got to a little drama. Then my mom, she was already living in Lawrence with my, my older brother. You know, he, he did some schooling at KU, did a little hoops, whatever. But yeah, so I mean, she, after that, she uh, brought me up here, transferred, and I've been living in Lawrence ever since. But no, man, I'm just, I'm a pretty simple guy, man. I just like, for one, I mean, I, I love to just make people laugh. Just love to just see some smiles, make them laugh and stuff like that. But I mean, I'm just a very observant person. You know, I just observe a lot. I see a lot and like, therefore, like you say, like, like the snap that you see, like why do I think like that? It's cause like I've thought so much about the stuff that I see. It gets to the point to where I see it again. I'm just like, you know what? I feel like I just need to say something about it. And like, that's the kind of person, it's kind of like that. That's kind of like, that's kind of where I get kind of like a lot of my snaps from. I just see a lot of stuff and you know, sometimes you gotta speak okay. on it. This, this one, I just thought this one was hilarious. Uh, the, uh, you remember the uh, Donald Trump one? Let's go Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump. The Donald Trump one, man, like that, I had just got, the, I just got home from working at uh, Kmart Distribution. That's back in this would this would have been back in like 2000, the end of 2016 ish, around that time, about, about November 2016. And like you know, I I get home and I got done voting, voted for Hillary, whatever. And then I'm just joking around because you know we're watching the, the thing, and I'm just going around just like Donald Trump, Donald Trump. I seen the video, Donald Trump. And then like my mom is just like. She, she, she said something that, like, I don't know. She said something, but it's, it cracked me up. Then I woke up, found out he won, and I was just like, wow. It's not a joke anymore. This is really, this is really what's happening. So, yeah, I mean, it's one of those that I, I kind of wish I could take back. And then at the same time, it's like, yeah, whatever. Like, I'm saying, like, well, that is, that you're just, yeah. I, no, that one, for me personally, that was... Hilarious because it's just like it was kind of like almost karma in a sense, but you know, you could tell you were joking, but yeah, it just yeah, trust me, like, I, I got I, I get that, I get that. And then, um, another one, you had this one, um, 
this actually recently you were doing one that was talking about like capping like people capping and not being their self on social media so like what so can you just give our you know our our you know the the viewers and whoever's watching this video like could you give him or could you give them a sense of like what capping is like you know because some people i don't really know what capping is like you know i'm not sure if i do it or not i might do it i'm not sure but i would like for you to let me to let us know so you know we can all be like informed on this you know situation and stuff like that but yeah feel free now that i have a platform i want to speak about this i'm gonna try to make it as brief as possible capping is just like it's like embellishing like like who you really are it's like doing more than like you would normally do like as you're like as, as you like it's like almost like when you have social media right you have social media and people like you know you you want to look i don't know people try to try to put themselves in like like to be something that they're not on social media and that that like i say it drives me crazy like when you like like you know you all don't see you you'll see guys that, like they never been around like like no street stuff or whatever or we've never never been around never lived anywhere like that but they get around like other people and stuff like that and then they, they want to try to embody like this tough guy kind of thing and it's just like i hate that that's cap like like we said that's cap bro that, that's not who you are that's not who you are and I, I just it drives me crazy especially like when you know a person like like that's that's really when it's cap like you can see like like any average person i guess you don't know and be like whatever they're doing i guess you don't know them like that but when you really know somebody and you see like he or she you know just acting completely out of character doing stuff that they wouldn't normally do and how they would normally act that's super cap that's super cap and that's that's just what it is, that's what it is. whoa i did not know that that the definition of captain that seems like honestly now now you now you, you say something about that i feel like i i've seen even my peers, you know, hey, I'm, uh, you know, I've seen my peers and, you know, my friends and stuff. And, like, I've always, like, you know, I've, I've always felt a certain way when they did certain stuff like that. But I never knew, like, you know, what to So now we have the word capping. And, wow, like, they've really been capping, man. They've just been cap, 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 cap. Just freaking cap, man. That's, you know what, I just want to thank you for that. Because now you gave me a new sense of just, like, of what to really look for in people. And that's just... It, that's that's great. I I really I I appreciate that. You know, personally, I really appreciate that. Thank um, you. so where do you get like you know like how do you come up with like some of these snaps? Like like what's the whole process of it? Tell us that because I mean I I one thing that I, I must digress. I I can't express this enough. Oh oh a lot of my snaps, a lot of them, or just me. Kind of posting like the first kind of thought that comes in my mind and then i just put it out there so like if it's ever me talking about something it's, it's like i see something real quick and i want to talk about it or like if you if you see me doing something funny it's like i just i had a, a brief thought and I, I just went and just did it you know it's like i'm not i'm not the kind of person to like uh uh well i think about something like hey should i post this or should i should i make this snap and then post it like i never try to think too hard about my snaps because like for me like you know somebody just like this that, that, that likes to make people laugh and stuff i hate when um, people try too hard on snapchat to be funny like I, I really hate when it just doesn't seem like it's flowing it doesn't it doesn't seem organic like it seems like they solely put this out there to just try to get some laughs and, and, and i get that you know you're gonna, you're gonna post something funny but like when you're not really like funny or you know you're not really like that and then you do it it just it doesn't come out right and then me personally, I hate that feeling of like when I think too hard about something, especially like on Snapchat, and it, it and it doesn't crank or whatever whatever it does, I, I just don't like it. So that, I try to sh stray away from that and just keep it organic and flowing and just you know just let it do what it do. Real quick before we we, we kind of dive back into like a little bit of your snaps and then we'll just wrap it up to make it really quick. But no, so like what would you say, so what would you say your goal is? Or like your goal has been when you've been using like like our platform like 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 what is like what is June like seek to gain or get from Snapchat? I would just say like when I first started doing Snapchat, I think it was about 2012. I seen every, like everybody else in school was like on Snapchat, but me, 
like the phone, like the phone that I had, I didn't really, uh, I didn't have a front camera. So, and I couldn't download Snapchat. So I, I like, I, I got an HTC from like, I think my brother or somebody like HTC Evo. And I, I got that and like, I was just doing that on Wi-Fi and like, we had like, I guess wi we had Wi-Fi at our house and stuff. And like, I mean, I would just like, I would just post a little snaps and like, I mean, back then, I, I, or even now, I don't, I've never put too much thought into like what I want to get out of it, you know, like, I mean, I guess, I don't know, I just, like I said, it's just something that I do, like, it's, it's got to the point to where it's pretty easy for me to just kind of just Snapchat stuff and, you know, kind of be funny or be relatable or kind of be whatever, but I never, I never got into like, oh, I want to do anything like big time on this, like, I mean, if it happens, it happens, if it don't, it don't, whatever, you know, I'm going to just do what I do. And my other aspects of life, but yeah, like I mean, yeah, I just been doing it ever since, man. You know, just and it's just solely just garnered a little attention. You know, I got my little following and whatever. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what it's what it is. Back to 2017, because honestly, looking back at 2017, how how would you describe your 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 2017? Because like from Snapchat, like like you know, we we looked. And man, it looked it looked like you were having a blast, and like, like like how were you then? I was nineteen, no, I was nineteen turning twenty or whatever. And I mean, I was kind of at a point in my life where like you're nineteen, twenty. I I was not in school at that time, and I had a job. Then I lost a job. I lost my job at Kmart, and I was kind of like in between work, but mainly not even working that whole 2017. So like, yeah, I was honestly I was pretty broke. I was pretty broke, but. Like I say, if you look at my Snapchat and stuff, I'm 20. Like, I was 20, whatever. If you, if you look at my Snap, you'd be like, oh, he was having so much fun. He was doing this and that, whoop, whoop. And I'm just like, honestly, that's kind of like the person, the person that I feel like I am. Like, I can just turn nothing, nothing into something, you know. I'm not proud to be like, oh, I, I didn't really have too much money. But at the same time, that's like a time where you're trying to find yourself. And, you know, you're just doing stuff. You're having fun. Like I'm saying, I mean, I was going out to the hawk. This and that, like you know, I'm 20. So yeah, I mean now I look now I look back at that. Never in my life would I ever try to go through like a point in my life like that, like a whole year. No, I can't do it. Too grown for that now. It's too much. On, too much I want to do. I have to do. So yeah, but no, never again. 2017. Yeah, it was a up and down year. To say. At the, uh, you were at some little little place and I guess you were yelling because you dropped pizza or something and something with, with like a, a girl snapchat yeah. mad as fuck I had this snap story with this girl we both shared a genuine love for pizza a nigga fail the motherfucking snap story nigga. what the fuck snapchat damn I, that was, that's funny I looked at it just I just want to talk about it because it's hilarious that's what I did a little bit about it. just a little bit like I'm saying 2017 that, that was like the part the, the party party year for me 2017 always me me and my my roommate and friend Juwan we stayed going out like so we have so many snaps at the hawk 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 like we were at the hawk in 2017 at 20 so yeah but no it, it was like I was drunk and I I got a snap and then I must have been walking over um it's like across the street from the hawk it's like it's like that weird little little slanted little hill on the sidewalk and I must have been like trying to walk down that like I'm drunk and I just busted my ass, wiped out, dropped my pizza, Snapchat deleted. I was like, damn it. Like, what? Damn it. And I was like, what the fuck, Snapchat? As you see the Snapchat, I was I was eating. Like, god damn. Like, man. So yeah, that's pretty much that. It was just that it was it was just that. So you like take a snap with this girl, and then you like dropped your pizza. And then you deleted the snap with the girl. Like, did you get a number at all? <laughs> You didn't, so why are you mad? That's just funny. I'm just messing, man. I'm just messing. But that's just funny to look back, because it's like... I probably would have been mad, too. The, the, I probably would have been mad, too. I probably would have been mad, too. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, that, that, that's honestly it. But honestly, though, great guy. We would love to work with you in the future. You know, like, maybe do another one of these. Talk about some more, you know. We love to do that. We're going to keep it short. You know, we're on a pretty tight schedule. So, yeah. We'll do all that. It was great to meet you. Really appreciate that. So, yeah. Like, we just hope uh, 
Yeah, we just want you to just keep coming in the future. Just keep doing your thing, man. Like, you know, you'll, yeah. Only the top for you, man. Only the top. All right, thank you. And thank you all for watching. This is uh, Jim Brooks. It's LeBron Brooks. And, yeah, you all have a good one. We see you all later. Boom, boom, bow. We're out.